Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So today we are continuing with our series of API testing using Postman. And in this video, we are going to cover interview questions that are asked with respect to API testing. So two questions which are mostly asked with respect to API testing are the difference between post and put and the difference between HTTP and HTTPS, right? And there are many other questions also asked. So what we will do is we will include all these interview questions in each and every video. I don't want to put all the interview questions together. Otherwise, it will be very difficult to understand everything together. Right. So we'll be going with small, small videos. We'll be covering topics related to the interview questions first so that whenever you get your interview scheduled, you are able to answer the questions. Okay. Let's start with uh, the difference between post and put first. Right. What is the difference between post and put? Okay. Now, before that, before going to the difference between those two methods, you will have to understand what is client and what is server. So if you don't know, I'm understanding that any layman who is watching this video can also at the end of the day, at the end of watching this video, they can also answer the question that is what is difference between put and post, right? So first let us understand what is client and server, right? See, in each and every website, you will have two things. One is client, one is server. Okay. Now, every website will have its own service. See, some will be e-commerce based website, right? Some will be travel related websites. Some will be banking related websites. Some will be hotel based, uh, hotel management related service will be there. Then one will be messaging website will be there. So all these kind of, uh, you know, websites, all these kind of services that you receive, whether it's banking, whether it's e-commerce, whether it's a uh, messaging anything so all these things will be related to different servers right so we have multiple servers and every server is responsible for particular website or application right these all services are using with its own way or style method but overall purpose is same for every method right in each and every service now if you see you will have such kind of operations in banking also you will have create edit search in travel, you will have insert, update, read, remove kind of operations that you will be performing, right? In messaging, you will be performing operations like add, edit, search, and delete. So these are various kinds of crude operations that are almost there in each and every services, right? Now, let's look at the further thing. Apart from these services, now if you see, uh, we have W3C, they have defined HTTP standards for communication, right? So now these are the five methods, right? One is post, one is get, delete, patch, and put, right? See, in post means new resource. So whenever you want to create a new resource under the collections, right? Then it will create the new resource. It will insert the new resource, right? I'll also show you one image. From that, you will get an idea of what is the difference between post and put, right? For now, get, you can understand it is reading the data. It is retrieving the data, right? It is searching. It is used for searching also for lookup also, right? Deleting means you are removing the data. You are putting them to the trash, right? Just as uh, every morning you put the garbage in the trash. So you are just removing the garbage from your, from your home. Patch is how to update, right? So we'll come to that in the next video put is new or update right now let us see what is post and what is put in detail now before going further i'll show you one image so that you will get a very clear idea okay see this is the image and it is the real time example of what is post what is put right now, see, she's putting the book, one of the book from the other books in the cupboard. So other books are already there. She's just, she's just placing one of her book, right? When you do post, so you can understand that the letter has been post inserted. So a new entry has been entered into the post box, right? Relatable. Okay. Now let us see what you have to answer when you get this kind of question in an interview. Now, based on that diagram, if you understand right now we'll tell you the theoretical difference between the two things what is post and what is put okay now post is used for creating new resources right so as 
again we relate to that uh, diagram right so post is the letter was getting inserted right it is used for creating new resources so that is our www dot just a second let me remove this thing let's say if this is a particular url right so customer right then you can also get customer slash one two three slash orders right so post is used for creating new resources right you can also consider like post analogy is like sending mail in a post office right it's neither safe nor item potent now don't uh, you know try to um, you know ratify this word item potent right what is item potent right what is item potent and what is non item potent so uh non item potent means if when we execute thing multiple time and state change every time that means non item potent right and the opposite is item potent right so post is non item potent right and it is used for non item potent resource request right if we execute thing multiple time state changes every time right for example if x plus plus execute then every time it state change it will come with increment of value right same like this in rest also for post method client request url for resource and response url from server are not same right so this is about post whenever you put a post request based on what the developer would have kept in the response either you will get 200 status code or you will get 201 status code simple okay now what is put okay put is replacing existing resources or creating if resources not exist so what she was doing over there right she was entering one of the book which was not there maybe she can also replace if some book is already there right put is item potent that means when we execute think multiple time still result or state is same it does not change right if you execute this particular you know uh, url so this is the website okay if you put it multiple times so it's going to be every time the state is not going to change it will come with x equal to one right then put analogy is like take and put where it was right so so it, let's say if you are working on some api right now uh, you have got to log in for some particular website right then you will use post you will be using some username and password you will get that response right similarly you can think for an example of put also right now the put the proper status code is written when creating and updating a resource right so here also you will get 200 or 201 okay so this is the difference between put and post so this question will definitely be asked to you in an interview this is one of the favorite api testing interview based question okay now we will see one more uh, question which is frequently asked in terms of api testing 